What's going on guys, I'm Bill and welcome to Bill's How To. Picking colors for your house to paint has never been an easy task until today. Today I'm gonna to show you guys the easiest way to play with all these colors and figure out what colors you actually want to put in your house. Let's do this. Now the most difficult and most important part of painting is picking which color you actually want to go with. Whether you're painting the exterior of your house, you're painting a feature wall, bedroom, lounge room, dining room, whatever it is, it's an important decision to make and it's one that you want to get right the first time. Most people tend to head down to their local hardware store or their local paint store. You'll be surrounded by a few different thousand options and if you're lucky you might only have a few hundred shades of white alone. So what people tend to do is to grab a few colors that they like and they might get sample pots of these ones, take them home, apply them to their wall and see what that actually looks like. But the problem with that is that it costs time, money, and effort, and there's an easier way to work this out. So the best way to pick your colors, guys, is by using these transparency cards. Now, I haven't seen anything like this before. These are made by Dulux. This is so far the only brand that I've seen make these. Transparent on the back, okay, basically in all the areas that would generally be painted. So what we've got here are, is um, different examples of a bedroom, kitchen, we've got different houses, we've got different lounge rooms, and this is the easiest way to know exactly what a color would look like in your house. So let's take for argument's sake, we've got here a nice modern looking house. If we wanted to see what color this house would look great in, we can take these cards and slot it right behind just like that. Now we know exactly what the house would look like in white. If I wanted to paint this house, I wouldn't be picking white. It looks nice now, but in simple fact is that it'll get dirty real quick. So what we'd go is something a little a little bit darker, but still neutral, so we've got a bit darker here. Once again, a little bit darker I'd like to go, so we can continuously play with this. Now, I get excited even, um, even doing this video. I like to keep playing around with them, so there we go. That's a nice color. Even something a little bit darker would look great. They've got a whole different range of different houses, different styles, so here we've got a weatherboard house or a uh, clad house. So once again, we can slot that behind. It's even gone into the detail right behind the shed or the garage and also around the pitch of the house. Everything's been colored in. We can swap that around, see what different colors would work best if we wanted to go for a nice white. There you go. So that's an easy way to work it out. They've got different styles of houses, like I said. Um, and also you've got your kitchen. What I like about this is you can really mix it up and use it to your advantage to make it two-tone. So let's say for argument's sake, we've got this background of the kitchen. If we wanted to um, put a glass splash back here and see what color would look great, what we can do is we can put a white background and then we can get a blue, slot that underneath, line it up with the splash back. And now we know exactly what a blue splashback would look like in the kitchen. So this is an awesome way. Hopefully no one would do this ugly blue, but either way, if you wanted to, for argument's sake, put a turquoise in the back, nice shade of blue there. Now that looks nice. We know exactly what that shade would look like. You can also do the same in the bedrooms. If you had a kid's room, you can now know what a feature wall would look like, or if you would had a boy, or if you have a girl, or whatever it is, you can really swap around all these different colors and what I like is this um, lounge room. So with the lounge room, you can even check two-tone. So if you had a white um, ceiling or a white feature up against the wall, so if we can slot that in, that top panel will become white. And then we can go for something else right down the bottom. So once again, we can also turn this into a feature wall. If we had our walls were white, and then we can create a feature wall using this color right here. So guys, I thought this is a really awesome way to be able to pick your colors. Honestly, I've played with this like a thousand times. It doesn't get boring, it doesn't get old, and it gives you a real easy way to figure out what colors you'd like to pick for your house. Hope this video has helped you guys out. Um, I'm sure you can get these on the Dulux website somewhere if you ask them. Um, hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If there's anything else you guys would like to learn how to do in or around your house, put in the comment section below and I'll be happy to show you guys how to do it. As always, like, comment and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Bill. Thanks for watching Bill's How To.